Magandang buhay mga bata! I am Teacher Maricar of Angeles Elementary School. Today, I will be your math teacher. Today's lesson is all about visualizing and representing fractions that are equal to 1 and greater than 1 using regions, sets, and number line. Let's start our lesson with a story problem. Louise had eight toys. He donated eight of his toys to the children of orphanage. What fraction of set of toys did Louis share? Louis shared eight eighths of his toys or one whole set of toys. This fraction is what we call the improper fraction. A fraction with the same numerator and denominator is equal to 1 or 1 whole. I have here figures. Let's try to identify the fractions of the shaded parts. This is 3 thirds. There are 3 shaded parts in 1 whole. Your denominator tells you how many parts are there in a whole. This is also three thirds. The last one is one third, since there is only one shaded part in one whole. Three thirds is equal to one. This is also equal to one. Let's count the number of shaded parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 shaded parts in this set. Your numerator is 7. And our denominator is 3 since there are only 3 parts in one whole. This is an example of an improper fraction. Improper fractions are fractions that are equal to or greater to 1. For example, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 13 tenths, or 5 fourths. Always remember that in improper fraction, your numerator is always greater than your denominator. Let's try to count the shaded parts. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 shaded parts in this set. And that gives you your numerator. Your denominator tells you the number of parts in one whole. 1, 2. There are only two parts in one whole. And that gives you a denominator of 2. Let's try another example. Let's count the number of shaded part for this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are eight shaded parts for this set. Your numerator is eight. Since there are only six parts in one whole, that gives you a denominator of six. On the other hand, mixed number indicates the sum of a whole number and a fraction. For example, 12 and one half. 3 and 4 fifth, 2 and 6 eighths. Let us look at this example. 
since all the parts are shaded, that gives you one whole. The next figure, there are only three parts that are shaded. That gives you a numerator of three. Since there are four parts in each whole, that gives you a denominator of four. So if we put together one whole and three fourths, that gives you one and three fourths. One and three fourths is an example of a mixed number. Going back to our previous example, let's find the mixed number of 7 thirds. Since there are two whole, that gives you 2. The fraction part of the last circle is 1 third. So if we put together 2 and 1 thirds, that gives us a mixed number of 2 and 1 thirds. To change an improper fraction into a mixed number, we simply divide our numerator to our denominator. How many 5 are there in 7? Very good! There is only one 5 in 7. Then we multiply 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract. Then we have a remainder of 2. Your quotient tells you your whole number. Your remainder tells you your numerator. Then we simply copy the denominator. The mixed number for 7 fifth is 1 and 2 fifth. To change a mixed number into an improper fraction, we simply follow the steps. Let's say your mixed number is 4 and 1 half. To get the numerator, we simply multiply our denominator with our whole number, then add our numerator. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. That gives you the numerator for your improper fraction. Then for your denominator, we simply copy the given denominator. The given is 2. Copy number 2. So the improper fraction for 4 and 1 half is 9 halves. Let's try to practice. Let's try to identify the improper fraction and the mixed number for each set of figures. What is the improper and mixed number for this set? Very good. It's 19 eighths. And the mixed number is 2 and 3 eighths. How about for this set? Very good. It's 23 tenths. And the mixed number is 2 and 3 tenths. For this figure, we have 18 fifths and 3 and 3 fifths. How about this set? Very good. It's 11 thirds and 3 and 2 thirds. Lastly, what is the improper fraction and mixed number for this set? We have 13 fourths and 3 and 1 fourth. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from our lesson. Hope to see you soon.